Hey guys, so I'm going to be filming my skincare routine. Ooh, I just hiccuped inside, that was really awkward. Okay, yeah, so don't mind, I'm just watching Sleepy Hall. If you see my last two videos, so I just filmed today. I may fail my mood. I filmed this eye tutorial, and then I filmed this, filmed this face and lips tutorial. And I explain what I do with my hair. And yeah, so today I'm going to be filming my skincare routine. And I was going to film an October favorites video for like next week to upload. But I just don't, I have like four favorites. Like I don't think you guys want to see that. So yeah, I'm just going, so I keep my makeup in this little Air Canada bag that I got when I was on Air Canada. And not everything fits in here, so you know, kind of goes in kind of, and it just kind of sticks up. And some things are really new, like I just bought today, but because they were refills. And yeah, so the first thing I bought today is my... Clean and Clear Essentials Foaming Facial Cleanser. It removes pores, removes pore clogging dirt oil and makeup without even over dry. And this is step one of their three step system. And I ran out of this. My Clean and Clear Invisible Blemish Treatment. Bites pimples all day. And yeah. Ooh, it's wet from a shower. My my um face wash. So I just bought these like maybe an hour and a half ago when I came home. And I just started filming. And I have this. I mean, this was attached to this on the back in a little box. And I was like, you know what? It's a little bit smaller. I think it's almost the full size of mine. I kind of threw mine out and I threw in the garbage out as I left. So I think this is almost the full size of the normal you can get. And it came on this same price. Amazing. $7.99. So yeah. So I used this in the shower. So my pores opened up and I used this. And I just foam it up. Use my little Sephora brush if I really want to go down to the pores, you know? And I use this, and I actually don't know what it smells like. I have, I've had the yellow one a couple months ago, before I bought my new one. It smells like face wash. Um, I had the yellow one just for my gentler skin, because it was the summertime, nearing kind of time, and then my skin gets really sensitive from the sun, and right now it's not as sunny, because it's really cold right now, because it's, like, it's sunset time rolls. It's like, it's 5.15. <clears throat> so I just use this, and yeah, I never... We buy a face wash because I haven't found one I really like. I'm just trying to find them. So I've been last time I before, when I had the yellow one I had that one. Um, last the last one I've had was from Target. It was the Target brands um up and up deep pore cleansing one. I had that one for about two months, and now I'm onto this one. And for the the yellow one of this, I think I had a. I honestly do not. I had a um, Rexall brand one. For that one, I had Neutrogena brand. For that one, I had Clean and Clear Morning Burst. I just like go back to Clean and Clear a lot, and I like Neutrogena, but they're a little bit more pricey in Canada, so I have to go back. I have to go to Target to get that. And actually, before I wash my face in the shower, I use Huggies Wet to remove my makeup if I'm wearing any makeup that day because they're gentle. As you can see they can go on the face, the babies, the babies' bums. And baby's hands, so they can remove makeup. They remove makeup very well, actually. I'm not even joking. I got these for two dollars at Dollar Emma because they're a store in Canada. It's a dollar store, but they also get a lot of over warehouses overstocked, so they're not nasty. Like I see stuff from Shoppers Drug March is pretty expensive there for two dollars. Like it's not nasty at Dollar Emma to get stuff like this. Maybe their nail polishes and fragrances are, but honestly, and they're the, one of the only places you can buy Elf in Canada. So amazing, and some elf products and then it's just like an overstock item from the warehouse I sent over there and these remove very well my mom buys them for me because she works near Dollarama and once I get out of the shower I grab a cotton pouch I don't have any right now so I just ran out so I use cotton balls and they're not in my little bag it's my proactive cleanser so my, my brother get, got proactive and he was using it so he gave me one of his boxes because he wasn't half he wasn't even like a quarter done of the first one and they sent it and they sent him a new one every three months i think he can't actually it's kind of sad but they have like a little i see on tv store in canada now called showcase and there's one at my mall but it's fifty dollars for the three step plus some extra stuff but you can get for twenty dollars when you order like you know on the tv and yeah so it's almost done it's been with me for so much i haven't been cloning for a long time but I realized since I've gone into the end of my f freshman or grade 9 year in high school, around June, I was getting a lot more oily. I thought it was just because of summer, but now it's getting, it's like, it's October tw 26, it's cold. It's like, one, it feels like 1 degrees outside Celsius, and it's cold, and I'm still really oily, so I'm guessing it's just kind of like me. Also, my, my monthly gift, 
but I'm just oily all the time, so I, this kind of just balances out your pH, pH, or the pH oils in your skin. So use a toner if you have oily skin. It'll help you so much. And because, yeah, and I just put a little of that onto my cotton pad or cotton ball. And next thing I use is my Proactive Repair Treatment. This is not a moisturizer. I thought it was a moisturizer for the longest time until I read the book they came in the box with. Do you guys know how Proactive makes makeup? Good for, like, if you have really bad acne if you want makeup. I should probably order that one day. And then, yeah. It's not moisturizer. You need sunscreen. Some of the sunscreen if you're burning out later. I usually use this at night. I use all this stuff mostly at nighttime. So I don't go up. I don't have to cake my face with makeup. I usually just moisturize at nighttime. So I use this. A little bit on my hands. And kind of just I'll avoid your eye. I kind of use like a mask. I use around here. I just kind of, you know, read out my neck a because I break out my jawline a lot. Not a lot, but sometimes. And yeah. So then I put on my Clean Clear Advantage Acne Mo Control Moisturizer. I bought this a long time ago when I had the Rexall brand Deep Pore Cleanser. And this was a little more expensive than the other one, but I thought it would work better. It dried me out for so long. So I think I had this in April. And I just started using it more in August because it dried me out. Like I went to Sephora and they did like a little clear sonic test on my hand to see if I wanted to buy a clear sonic. But I didn't buy one because you know they're expensive. I can use my other Sephora, but she now it's just fine with the foaming cleanser. And she's like, What do you use? I'm like, I use Proactive. She's like, Well, Proactive looks like it's drying me out. I'm like, I'm like, it did dry me out before, but I told her I was using my clean and clear moisturizer, and she's like, oh, that probably dries you out because it has so much else, like, acid in it. It only has, I don't know how much salicylic acid it has inside, but it dried me out on my teeth. So I see it's kind of drying me out now when I use this, so I use this in moderation, because it's not, it, it says when you buy it, Cover the affected area with a thin layer one to three times a day. If botheriness, dry sum, or peeling occurs, reduce application to once a day or even every other day. So, every other day for me. Because my T-zone gets too dry and it really bugs me because my makeup flakes there. So, yeah. And then, I use, where to go, my Garnier Skin Renew, Garnier Nutri Skin Renew Awakening Face Massager with caffeine in it. And I've had this for a long time. My mom bought this because my brother has the under eye roller because, I don't know. He, he's good with his skin because he had practice he's practiced on that and he just put it underneath his eyes and really helped him but so my mom bought this thing would be good and it's kind of tinted on almost I think it's because of caffeine it goes on it goes on sheer and kind of invisible and then I like that a lot and then it wakes you up and I found my and it's kind of greasy when you first put it on but you have to let so you have to really I like using this morning I use this in the morning time too not really at night and then I, if it's really greasy so you have to let it sit and set before you put on your makeup or it would just look so greasy my shirt keeps riding up on my neck no no I don't like no uh, information for no no and my brother had no no my mom used it and I used it a little bit don't work in my case and it works maybe it'll work for you I don't know see I like using this I find myself putting a lot more in my teas on just patting it and rubbing it in because of the dryness stuff this is caused a lot trying to get over the dryness and the air is really dry so I have to really find a good heavy duty moisturizer I had one it was my simple daily renewal kind of vitamin one but I, it was kind of I didn't use it in a long time because I was just really lazy with my skin because I had good skin I kind of regret not doing keeping up with my skin routine a couple of months ago and it just it was thick it was greasy it was an oil free my, all of my stuff is oil free all of it except for this one I think but it's all oil free so I didn't like it and it kind of smelled a little bad and I think it's because it's a little more older I didn't use it for so long so I had to throw it out and this is a tea tree oil from Australia's original it's Thirsty Plantain Plantation which is I don't like that word plantation not it doesn't bring back good memories in history it's 10 milliliters and I only use this when I have severe breakouts because it burns my open pores I'm not even joking I don't know what's going on it burns. Oh, it burns my open pores like a lot. So I have to. I find myself dabbing a bit of cold water on my face after I put it on, and I put it on when I feel a really like big breakout coming around here. I put this on and kind of slows down the breaking out process, so I can get a little more control over it. And this goes an. I this is a multi product so for acne antiseptic. It's an antiseptic. If you cut yourself or like no, don't cut yourself. That's bad. Um. Or if like you get like a scratch or a scrape or something, so you don't want to get infected. This tea tree oil is amazing, and it's also good for mosquito bites. 
or any like bug bites if they're poisonous please go see a doctor and i bought this funny story i bought this from my dentist's pharmacy because it's my dentist's office in the pharmacy um yeah they have a lot of clean clear morning burst products that i didn't know existed so that's why i like, get a lot of my clean clear morning burst products if i have any i don't have any right now and the day i got this we we're walking to home hardware me and my mom my sister and i fell on treat mini so i grabbed one i grabbed this put it on my hand it smelled bad it smells horrible and i put it on my knee no infection no bruising nothing that really works for me i only use this sometimes it's really full and then where is you oh there it is <laughs> where am i from my face and then at night i use my invisible blemish treat metallic acid acne medicine bites pimples all day goes on clear it's good it's really good amazing i put some on today on my nose little because i've been making out here in your chin fact if you are on your time of the month but you have like some prob problems down there you know just saying you break out a lot more on your chin it's like proven and here i think it's like your large intestine your liver something's wrong with my liver then I don't think I have enough nutrients. I don't think I eat enough green vegetables because I have really dark eyes. I think I'm also anemic. I'm not really tested for that, but I'm pretty sure I am. Ooh, look at that shine is showing. And yeah, so I mean, if you guys want me to do a video on like what causes acne where, I will do that for you because I have a chart. And yeah, so this, this is really good for treating the pimple. I just do it at night because it's not greasy. It kind of mattifies a little bit. That's really good. And yeah, so it says here use treats and health. Prevent pimples, directions, cleanse skin, apply product to affect the areas one to three times daily or as directed for as a doctor. I don't have a dermatologist, but should probably get one when I'm older. My mom really thinks, my mom is old fashioned, she thinks dermatologists and like, I don't have acne, but I do. She just choose not to believe it. I think because she didn't have anything, she goes, she got, she grew up in the country. She said that, that. She grew up in the country in Poland. So she, I don't think she had any really like, you know, the, the air is fresher, you know. All natural stuff there so i don't really think she had a lot of acne so i don't think she believes me when i say i have acne so kind of like i buy this when i get like my allowance or i get paid for babysitting someone's kid at least it's at night don't use this during the day because it's also like acid i don't really have anything with spf in it right now so yeah that's it and that is my skincare routine yeah I might be posting my skincare routine right bef before this eye makeup because I'm feeling I, like I should. So, if I have not posted the eye makeup and the face makeup tutorials for this look, or the and the hair description, whatever I talked about, um, then that means it's coming up in the next week. So, subscribe. I love you guys and goodbye. Hi, oh, uh, Goodbye.